Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Ahant Online Academy and here in this session we will see some of the important multiple choice questions from the computer graphics, right? So let's start. The very first question is types of computer graphics are. So here we have to uh, ask that what are the types of computer graphics. So there are two types of computer graphics basically vector graphics and raster graphics, right? VSTOR and RASTER. Uh, we will see about vector graphics and raster graphics in our next lecture in completely detail that how they are different from each other, what are the advantage of vector graphics, what are the advantage of raster graphics, what are the file formats under vector graphics and raster graphics, right? So here we have simply asked the type of computer graphics that are vector graphics and raster graphics, right? see the complete difference between vector graphic and raster graphic in just our next lecture right so please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that whenever we will upload our next content in any content for you you will get instantly updated from our side right so it is the type of graphic right now the next question is vector graphic is composed of so basically vector graphic is com uh, composed of paths right and raster graphics are composed of to, so raster graphics are composed of pixels means from tiny tiny pixels the complete image will made so we can say that it is a type of raster graphics right so pixels is the right answer the next question is higher the number of pixels what is the image quality so if the number of pixels are higher then the quality of image will be better why because suppose there are only few pixels then you can see that your image will be after strengthening it will be stretched out and each pixel will see clearly but if there are higher number of pixels means they are compressed like that and if there are so many number of pixels like that then you will you will not able to observe that whether it is consisted of pixel or not but the smallest size will always be a pixel so if there is a higher number of pixels in an image then the quality of image would get better that is why we can say that if the number of pixels would be higher then the quality will get better right so option b is the right answer the next question is raster images are more commonly called as so basically raster images are more commonly called as bitmap right so it is general purpose uh, general basic question of computer graphic that the raster images are more commonly called as bitmap because of it the it is made up of the pixels right uh, the next question is suppose uh, the question says that statement is here rahul is playing a video game that has a lot of depth and a very realistic appearance what type of animation Rahul is enjoying? So if there is a depth, lot of depth and very realistic appearance means the video game is appearing just as like in a real life game, right? So such kind of experience is 3D animation. So option B is the right answer. So you can say that the 3D animation is the type in which the there is a lot of depth and uh, the appearance or you can say that the uh, you can enjoy the real or practical life gaming there right so it is the example of 3d animation the next question is the maximum number of point that can be displayed without overlap on a CRT is referred as so maximum number suppose this is our uh, uh, screen and what we have asked we, here we have asked that the maximum number of points that can be displayed without overlap on a CRT is referred as we refer this term as a resolution means how many maximum number of points you can display without without overlapping means there should if we see this in a broad then you can say that this this should not be overlap means how many maximum number of points we can display without overlapping of CRT is called as resolution Right, it is a property of resolution that how many maximum number we are showing, how many maximum point we are showing without any of the overlap, right? On a CRT, it is referred as resolution. The next question is the primary output device in a graphic system is 
primary output device in any graphic system is basically video monitor you will see your output on a video monitor right so option b is the correct answer the next question is the quake one of the first fully 3d game was released in which year so it is a gk question under graphic tools basically the quake one of the first fully 3d game was released in year 1996 the next question is what does MMF term MMF is stands for. So the term MMF stands for multimedia messaging system. So how could you send the message or a system where you can use multimedia and you can send that are called as MMF means uh, multimedia messaging system is basically called as MMF. So guys, here we have discussed couple of questions from the graphic tools and computer graphics. I hope. it is clear to you all the explanation which i have discussed with you further if you have any kind of queries or doubts you can comment us and i will try to solve your all queries and uh, whatever you have doubts as early as possible thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat